parasites. Disgusting creatures that we do not want in our bodies. But what happens if you do it on purpose? In the United States, purchasing pills that release tapeworms into your stomach are illegal. <laughs> no surprise there. But why would you ever want one? Today, we will be discussing the tapeworm diet. To start, we should make it very clear what the tapeworm diet actually is. It is incredibly lax in what you can or can't eat, as there are no rules for that. You can eat whatever you please. The premise here is to take pills that put tapeworms into your stomach, which supposedly eat all the extra calories. I will talk about why there is a few flaws in that logic, but we should begin with a brief history lesson. In the mid to late 1800s, what was considered beautiful was very, very unhealthy. To be seen as beautiful, you had to be incredibly thin and pale, as though you were a zombie. People would do just about anything to get there. A lot of things were done, almost all of which were harmful. But today's topic is the tapeworm. While it is not 100% confirmed that the pills taken then had tapeworms, but people started intentionally consuming what very well may have been tapeworms, what they thought were tapeworms, and all in an attempt to become thinner. Of course, this is atrociously bad for you and can easily result in death, and there are some people who are still willing to go to that length today. There are no positives to this diet. None. Just a decent chance of death and many, many horrible side effects. Its promises of becoming thinner and losing calories will not work, and this diet has no restrictions aside from eating a tapeworm pill. This is, of course, among the stupidest things I've ever heard, and I feel really bad for anybody who does do this. How would your life on this diet look? Well, firstly, you spend the day eating about whatever you want. Maybe you have some, some waffles for breakfast. Maybe a nice juicy steak for dinner. And then um, next we decide, uh, oop, it's time to slurp up a tapeworm. But but how did how do we get this tapeworm? Y you'd have to uh, bu illegally buy it. But But how much would it even cost? So I did a little bit of digging here, and I found this website after looking up tapeworm diet pills a lot of times. It yeah, it's wasn't a great search series, but I found this website who claims to be official resellers of, the, of a brand of tapeworm pill, which we can just look that up in a minute to see. Where else that gets? I've already done this, of course. But we have multiple other articles on this website that I've never heard of about these tapeworm pills. This is something else. Okay. Now, when we search up this, to start, we get a bunch of. It's a bunch of whatevers. Ask Reddit, does anyone have. Does anyone have any experience with using a tapeworm for weight loss? This is... Oh, man. Oh, no. I don't think it's pathetic to think outside the box. Oh, no. And then... And then there's, and then there's this. The Indomed Company of Southern San Francisco has produced a new product, which has, for some reason, slipped past the FDA. Their new weight loss pill called. Okay, so this is a huge advertisement. 
pretty sure that this is also somewhere in one of these. It claims that this tapeworm is genetically modified to die in a week. That sounds absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> a site that looks like a 14 year old made it using angel fire. What is this website? The last diet program you'll ever have to buy. This is sketchy beyond belief. This yellow on white with a black border with blue text inside of it with random red text is ridiculous. Going on and on about expensive weight loss programs that don't work and pri saying that they prioritize health while selling tapeworm pills. But, so this is supposedly the website of the Indomed tapeworm pills, right? Where does it say Indomed anywhere? What the hell is an Indomed? What happens if we... What happens if we click buy now? Oh my god, it's PayPal. Right. Um. Talk about sketchy. This kind of left me with a good amount of questions. Who is Indomed? The website never mentions them, and after looking into the supposed company further, I couldn't find anything that matched the description. I am morbidly curious, so if anyone were to ever find any information, I would love to be made aware of it. But the shocking discovery shook the very nature of this video. It went from looking into some weird diet for school to being the source of burning curiosity. Is this pill even real? Is Indomed even real? Do the pills contain tapeworms? If they do, are they, are they actually genetically modified as claimed? We may never know the answer. Unless somebody actually bought them, but that would be very, very not a good idea. Don't buy them. Don't use them. But alas, this video must end eventually. As much as I would love to look much deeper into this subject, I have a couple essays to write. With all that said, have a wonderful day.